Hey, gun people. Doing a little cleaning here and um, noticed on uh, a few of my shotguns that the barrel down here, I don't know if I can get it in there to where you can see it. Um, right here where the shell kind of sits in here. So this shell goes in here like so. This part that holds the shell, so if I pull that out and put it next to it there, there's that little throat area right there will sometimes, depending on, on what type of brass you're using, whether you're using this short, let's see if I got a long brass in here real quick. Nah, I guess I don't. I got a long brass 410. So you see how much longer that 410 brass is? So depending on how long this brass is right here is how much this goes in here. When, when the round is fired sometimes, this brass will expand and it makes little grooves about right here in the uh, somewhere along this throat area of the barrel. So if you look down the barrel, I don't know if this is going to be too bright. If you look down the barrel right here at the end, you'll be able to see little like minor grooves. This one's pretty good because I already polished it a little bit and then I was like, you know what, I'll do a quick video on this so people can know what they mean when they say polish their barrel. When you polish the barrel of a shotgun, and it works on pumps or, um, or semi-automatics. This happens to be off my 1100, so it's semi-automatic. So I want to polish that little tube right there. And the easiest way to do that, they sell kits and everything, is I just put a brush, you get your, your uh, just one of your brushes and you get your standard brush with brass, you get a little steel wool, like so, and you wrap that around the brush like so then you put it on your drill and now you have a polisher and then I usually just put a little oil down the barrel there to get this in the barrel And then I'll spin it to kind of get it in there. And then I'm just polishing the inside of this barrel. And I mean, I guess if you sat here with really coarse sandpaper, you could wear the barrel out. But this barrel is pretty stiff. So I'm just going to, I'll usually hold it right around here and feel when it gets warm. And as you can tell, the little black kind of removing things. Then I'm going to clean that off real quick. Didn't really plan this vehicle or this uh, video real well. But so it got quite a bit of dirt off, put a little oil on it. Maybe give it another cleaning real quick. And I can't tell if you could tell if it looks any better or not. Because I can't see the video. It almost looks like there's still a little uh remember this was a used shotgun that was kind of rusted up. So I can't tell if that's a discoloration that I'm seeing. Um, so I'm going to probably do a little bit more polishing on that. Now if I reach down in there, 
you could feel it. And I mean, if you want to use something else, you can use a little Allen wrench or something and just slide that along the middle and it should be very smooth. I shouldn't be feeling any divots. There shouldn't be any creases or, or brush marks from where they either cut the steel or from where a brass is expanded in there. And this is pretty much glass smooth. So I'm going to polish that just a little bit more. Uh, and again, that's called polishing the barrel. Um, I'm not sure if, uh, if a lot of people do that. Uh, I do it to all my shotguns. Um, I also do it to my pistols. Not necessarily the barrel part in there, but I do um, where the... Um, you can tell I'm cleaning some guns here. Um, where the ramp is that leads the bullet up from the magazine. If there's a ramp, I will usually polish it. I do it a little bit different way on that, but that's how you polish the barrel of a shotgun. If you've never done it or you've got a shotgun, it, it, it can hurt and it can only improve and increase your um, your ejections and your feeding. So it's going to feed smoother and it's going to eject better if you polish that barrel. So pump, uh, again this is a Remington 1100. It doesn't matter what the brand is, doesn't matter what the gun is. Um, of course, if you buy a high end, you know, two, two grand or maybe $1,200 shotguns, if you look at the barrel, that's, it's already going to be polished. But when you get into your guns that aren't so high end, sometimes they just don't take the time to polish them and, and smooth them out real nice. And a little steel wool on, on a brush and uh, hook that up to your drill and you'll be good to go and uh, polish that up. And uh, again, can hurt and it will increase your feeding and ejection. Okay, that's my uh, polishing the barrel tip.